Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video I want to speak about how you can scale with WordPress in Docker and uh, I will teach you about how you can work with the media files because as you know if you're working with Docker then the, it's uh, destroyed the container when you deploy a new version. So that's meaning if you upload some files uh, to the WordPress now then it will work in fine. But when you deploy a new update and then all the files inside the media folder will will uh, be destroyed and then all the uh, files will be gone. I will show you how you can install the plugin called VP Offload Media Lite. You can, if you want, buy a, a premium version, but I think it's not necessary. Um, so I'm not buying that because why? Why should that uh, when it's working fine without a premium license? And um, after that, I will show how you can use the bucket called uh, space in, in DigitalOcean. You can see it up here. We will working with the spaces here. And um, that's what we're gonna do when it's uh, installed. And that's everything I will explain before we are beginning. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and you will continue and see it to the end. So let's go and begin. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the thing uh, in below in the right corner on the video. and don't forget to hit the like button and press the uh, the comments if you have any questions so the first we're going to do is open the terminal for the for the container and i'm just jumping inside to the dogger here and uh, i'll try to show so you can see something here and then we just press um, composer require v package gist Oops. Plugin, Amazon S3 and CloudFront. And just press installing it up. And you will see this warning is because we don't use Composer 2, we only use the Composer 1. You are free to upgrade if you want. Then we're just waiting until it's finished install the package down. So when it's done, you can see it's installing the, the last version and you need to go in for the plugins and install plugins and then you can just click it here. You can see it's it's coming here. So we can just click activate it and then settings. When you're hitting this uh, setting page, we can select between Amazon and DigitalOcean and uh, Google Cloud Storage. You can always change this later. I will go in for digital uh, ocean space. So let's copy uh, this code and put it inside to the, the code here. And uh, we need to open the front end configuration application and scrolling down here and copy it in. Now we only need the, the space creating on the digital ocean. And uh, if you don't have uh, any digital ocean account, you can use my referral links inside the, the, the description and you'll receive $100, I think. That's the promotion for two, two months or something like that, I think. And then you can test out how the digital ocean working. And, uh, and then we're going back for the, for the digital ocean website here and we will create the space. And I will be in the Frankfurt, and I don't want the, I don't want the CDN, so that's okay for me to, to don't do that. And uh, I will restrict the file listing. And uh, here I will call here. So what I want to say, I'll say PNK testing space for YouTube. I'm creating in my project called the testing area. And uh, then I will go inside here and create this one and say settings. Inside the settings, uh, you can enable the CDN again and you can change uh, the file listing and you can add the, the cross configuration and, and something like that. Then we are ready to go in for the API key here and generate a new key and we say um, Space key, uh, space access keys. It's very important. You're going for this one, and uh, then we just say testing key. That's the name, 
and then it's creating the key right now and we are almost here and it's it's, it's different between generate personal access token and then the space access key just uh, two information and then it's a uh, copy it here and you can see two keys and you, you just to informate this key will be deleted after the uh, my my video here is uh, is recorded so you cannot use my keys you need to create your own keys and then we're going for the editor here and copy it down and going back and copy the next one and i will just copy this one inside and uh, then my uh, wordpress here should be enabled to work and if i'm just going this one save it uh, and it's yeah so something is happening here now I'll try save it again and yeah okay my configuration file is a little bit slow to update but yeah now you can see it you can see the bucket pnk test i can change it if i want but i only have one bucket so that's fine with me i can go back and copy file to the bucket and the path should be vp content upload so if you have some other passes than that you need to change it and we place it like in the year and the month so that's easy way to do this and we need to object versioning that's the timestamp on the files bucket path recommend to using the cdn um it's okay to click it off and it's okay to have it on we just hit this one so everything here it's uh, it's fine for now but as you can see you have a uh, access the knife for the bucket and uh, this bucket is the old one i don't have credit anymore so let's change that to the space here copy the name and going back and paste it inside it's important you select the the right region and uh, then the right bucket and then we save it and now we have uh, all the settings here and we can save it and we have the settings so let's going back for the post uh, inside here and uh, i can just delete this one i can uh, let's add some images and upload one and uh, yeah that's a good question where we have some images here so let's try this one and we upload it it's uploading a little bit here uh, I can just say round corner here so what's going wrong here it's probably because it doesn't have access so let's reload the page and see the media library that you can see this one is delete that's fine I will just select file again and yeah we don't have access for the correct directory so that's what we're gonna do now uh, so let's go back for the, the docker file in the editor and it's down below here and then we need some access right for the for the files here you can see we have the upload so i'll just say uploads that's the right folder so it's a, a small bug we have here and uh, then we have updraft and updraft that's fine and i think that's it so let's rebuild the docker container one more time so the third thing i'm gonna do is remove all about that and uh, of course i have copied the, the changes back for my main folder so we having uh, a clean setup and then we can just install it one more time and uh, we say docker volume pure that's meaning we remove all the unused uh, docker and then docker image pure a and then we remove everything about that and then i say docker compose up d and then it's starting to install so when it's finished we can going back for for the editor here and reload it going for the media and try it again uh, select the files and then we upload it up again and then we can see about it's happening something and now we can see it's uploaded and we can select it up again and we can just update it so if i'm going for the front end and you can see the image here it's it's uploading succeeds and if i'm inspect here then you can see it's coming from my space here 
and of course you can enable the, the CDN if you want to load it directly from the from space if you use some other providers it could be yeah it, it could be up to you what you use then you probably not should not be using the, the CDN one thing you need to know about the DigitalOcean the keys you have inside here for the space get access for all your spaces for for a single project so if you need to control i would recommend that if you have a, a larger uh, project then i will recommend the amazon s3 where you can giving the users the right uh, access so if you have 100 uh, or 20 spaces then you can basically give every single user the right access right now um, the users having access for all the spaces I'm creating inside here so be careful about that that's a very good information to to know and before we are finish up here I think that will be a very nice one to just uh, clean it up a little bit here and say this one should be inside the own file here and I will call the file for uh, as3cf.php uh, inside this and copy it up here and of course say inside here and inside here I want to say uh, require arms and then full path roof and say config as3cf.php and the dot and then we almost have it and uh, then we can include it inside here and so to the to keep this uh, dynamic we can call it as uh, 3cf and then we call it uh, what should we call it we can call it a uh, access key uh, access key id and then we can just call this for secret access key and of course we need to get it inside the env so we can do it this way and uh, then we have the, the right one and if you need to change the provider we can just do this provider and then we basically just need to set it up inside the env file and uh, I'll show how we can do this. So let's open the env dev here and going back and just say we want to say do and the access key is equal to and the secret key. And then you can basically whoops paste your access key inside again and your secret key. And then you are up and running. It's working pretty nice. I hope you understand that and uh, I really hope you know how that's uh, working and I think before we finish it up I will make the, the test so you can see the changes here will work when we deploy the, the docker compose so just, just hang in. So let's stop and remove the, the container one more time. I'll just say uh, this one. and then we just build it up again and see how that's reacting and when it's finished we can go back for the browser and try to reload and see we can add one more picture let's say one more picture and media library just say upload and then we take the other one And select it down and everything is working as we should be let's reload here and inspect and we can see it's here for, for my testing purpose so everything is working as it should be and you are good to go so congratulations now you can centralize your uh, data files and put it to the space where you want and don't forget to use the referral link if you want to pick up with the DigitalOcean below. 
and thank you for subscription and thank you for watching this video i really hope you want to hit the like button and add the the comments if you have some questions so thank you and see you next time bye